Sunshine Likes the Rain here with another reaction. So today we're going to continue with our Golden Girls series, this time with season five, episode 26, titled The President is Coming, part two. As always, if you're looking for the full-length reaction to this episode or any of my other content, you can find that on Patreon and the link will be in the description below. And if you can also support us on Patreon, that's completely fine. You can support us directly here on YouTube by liking this video, commenting, and subscribing. So without further ado, let's get into our episode. Okay. Did I get signed for the president? Oh, I want the president to feel welcome. So I'm making him a sign. It's going to say, Welcome, President Bush. We are pleased to have you in our home. We're really thrilled that you're visiting Miami. That's we a, hope you have a good that's time a small and a safe ass sign for all of this. I'm running the country. It's catchy, Rose. <laughs> this is the most exciting thing that's ever happened to me. More exciting than winning the annual St. Olaf Me and My Pet Lookalike Contest? <laughs> yes, but mostly because I don't have to swim with a duck in my mouth. I'm sure there are problems, but can't we just pray they'll go away by themselves? Oh, she's you so haven't. cute. Dorothy, if you make a scene, this whole thing is going to blow up in our faces. Why do you say that? Because something always does. Well, then we're all set. We have everything we need for the cruise. Girls, listen, we don't have everything we need. But what are we missing? Well, we are going away for a romantic weekend to the Bahamas with Jeff and Rich and Randy. In this day and age, it might be a good idea to take along some protection. What kind of protection? <laughs> Two armed Pinkerton guards. <laughs> An animal bag? Oh, uh-uh. Right. Didn't you grip? Condoms, Rose. Condoms, condoms, condoms. Calm down, lady. Oh, man. You just get out of prison? <laughs> yeah. What do you think? Well, it's not a bad idea, but... I'm a little embarrassed. Oh, me too. After saying condoms, condoms, condoms so loud. Now, these are discreet professionals. This is a private matter. Whatever we buy is nobody's business but our own. Now, that wasn't so bad, was it? Uh, Joe, I need a price check on some condoms. <laughs> oh, man. These three ladies here want a couple of boxes of the King George prophylactics. <laughs> Sensitive. Two of them have the lamb skins, and the blonde has the ultra sensitive in black. <laughs> Where do I install her? Well, actually, uh, Lou, uh, we're going to install her ourselves. Follow me. Hold it. You're not serious. Why not? You gotta be a man, for God's sakes. <laughs> You know, ah, to Lou. Tell you the truth, uh, Lou, uh, women are capable of more than just cleaning these uh -huh. things. Is that so? Well, as long as you ladies are playing plumber, why don't you play moving man, too? Fine, fine, we will. Oh, no. Was that a plumber? No, Ma, no, it was a little girl selling Girl Scout toilets. <laughs> I'm going after him. <laughs> Come on, Dorothy, let's move this little beauty. <laughs> okay. Oh. oh, wait, wait, wait. No, honey, she Yeah, won't. that makes my back hurt. Oh, Rose, I don't think we're going to be able to move it. Dorothy, if the Egyptians built the pyramids, now we can move this toilet. Fine, get me 20,000 Hebrews and I'll have it. <laughs> you wouldn't believe all the security out there. Of course, they have to have it. You know, when the president comes to town, it brings out all the oddballs. <laughs> Stan? Hi, Yay! I love him. Stanley, what are you doing here? I'm glad you asked. Inside this box is my best novelty yet. The George Bush point of light on a stick. <laughs> you know, Dorothy, every now and then, it dawns on me. You had children with this man. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, wait, please. I just took a bath in those Daniel Ortega buttons that say four more years. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a big fan. Maybe he'd like to meet me. I almost voted for him. I would have if I could have registered. You know those things go straight to the IRS? <laughs> so could I. See ya. <laughs> oh, what did I ever see in that man? I don't blame yourself. You were young. You were carefree. You were just one of those girls who marries the first guy who knocks her up. <laughs> we had to run security clearances on everyone. Everyone passed except for 
you, Mrs. Petrillo. Ooh. I can't <coughs> believe it. I spend one lousy night with Mussolini, and I do mean lousy. <coughs> and I'm marked for life. No, that's not it. Our records list you as both Sophia Petrillo and Sophia Weinstock. I'm tired of running. Is it the guy that she married? Where do I begin? Max Weinstock and my late husband Salvador yep. were in the restaurant business together in Brooklyn. They had known each other since. No, oh, what's the matter? Esther Weinstock is dead. We grew up together. She was my best friend. Oh, honey. Oh, oh, I'm so sorry. What happened? She was fighting an oil rig fire in the Gulf of Mexico. <laughs> she was 88. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Weinstock. Oh, my goodness, as I live and breathe. Unfortunately. Damn. You're little Dorothy Petrillo. That's right. You haven't changed a bit. Same gorgeous smile, pretty eyes, beautiful figure, long golden blonde hair. You have cataracts, don't you, <laughs> Mr. Weinstock? Since 1967. Let's go. Sophia, Esther would have appreciated you being here. If you've got something to say, spit it out, Weinstock. Don't push me or I will. No. <laughs> there I pushed. Too bad you were on a flight of stairs. Oh, shit. Ma, Ma, you're creating a scene. Look, that was a long time ago. Forget about it. I can't forget. This man stole money from us. Because of him, our family went hungry. Ma, we never went hungry. Some nights I felt like dessert. <laughs> Oh, she's been oh so depressed yeah. She got back from that funeral. I mean, so she's she gonna see them in bed together. Friends, and even though she made up with Mac, she knows that she'll probably never see him again. She made up with him. Her, we will try mm. to cheer her up. You don't want that poor little thing getting sick over this. No. Ma! Oh my God! Dorothy, what is it? What, honey? Oh, good oh. Lord! <laughs> So let's see if I've got this straight. You and this Max Weinstock were... Getting it on. <laughs> Thank you. If you're gonna write that down, make it three times a night. He'd like that. And send me a copy. <laughs> so this was a casual fling. Please. I'm not the love him and leave him type. At my she age, married. I don't have the strength to do both. <laughs> we got married. Who's in charge here? Oh, I love him. Well, what's the problem? I'm the caterer. It's two o'clock. The guests are waiting. Why isn't the show on the road? <laughs> Ma, I know you're in there. The wedding is off. She doesn't approve. She doesn't approve? Now look here, Stretch. <laughs> I have a hundred cheese puffs and a sensitive assistant both on the verge of collapse. <laughs> Whatever the problem is, overlook it. My mother did with my marriage. And if you say something smart, I'll slap you silly. <laughs> Ma, I came here to beg you for the last time not to get married. I didn't want you and Max together because it looked like you were cheating on Pop. I know it doesn't make any sense, but I still think of the two of you as being married, and I didn't want Max taking Pop's place. But now that I see the two of you so much in love, I, I realize I was just being selfish. Ma, Ma, I want you to be happy. And I know Pop would, too. I love you, pussycat. This is more moving than Susan Hayward's climactic speech, and I want to live. <laughs> You're ready to fly right out of here, aren't you? <laughs> well, excuse me for living, Anita Bryant. <laughs> Honey, I want to wish you all the happiness in the world. Oh, thank you, Blanche. <laughs> and Sophia. I want to offer you a traditional Scandinavian wedding blessing. Geflechter flaffen, flaffen flirten, verfetter flingen, verflaffen. I'm really touched. <laughs> I'm also soaking wet. <laughs> All right, one group hug and let's hit the road. Oh, so oh, oh yeah, yeah. Oh, honey. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Then if no Elvis in this room has any objection to this union, I now pronounce you man and wife. You may kiss the bride. Yay! Have you? Oh, oh, oh. Tarantino has no rhythm. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha!
Well, thank you, Mrs. Petrillo. By the way, what happened to Mr. Weinstock? We found out we weren't compatible. Thank God it was before we had kids. <laughs> Is anyone as nervous as I am? I can't believe I'm gonna meet the President of the United States. Oh, if I say something stupid, I'll die. Can we make a donation in lieu of flowers? <laughs> Dorothy, you're not still planning on saying all those things to the president, Of course you? she oh, is. Absolutely. I'm telling him all. <laughs> well, it's not really fair, because I can hear you. <laughs> Dorothy, am I showing too much cleavage? Yes. Then I'm ready for him, too. <laughs> I love that mustard color on her. It's really nice. Ladies, the motorcade is running late. Now, the president won't actually be coming into the house. He'll just be at the door for a photo opportunity. And this is Sophia Petrillo. Well, thank you for letting me visit your home. You know, where I come from, when you visit somebody, you bring a little something. A marble cake would have been nice. Sophia! <laughs> what? This is... Blanche Devereaux, it's a real pleasure, Mr. President. My, you do have a lot of Secret Service men, don't you? Hi, Blanche. Hi, Blanche. Ooh. <laughs> Thank you, Mrs. Devereaux. And, Mr. President, this is Dorothy Zbornak. Dorothy, please. Hello, Mrs. Zbornak. <laughs> she forgot everything. Well, it's good to know we have your backing. You want to let go of my hand now? Uh -huh. uh, it might be the lights. I think he means right now. Uh -huh. <laughs> well, I hope you've enjoyed this as much as I have. <laughs> Goodbye, ladies. Goodbye, Mr. Oh, President. You should have told him, Dorothy. I think he got the message. Uh huh. <laughs> Ta -da! Oh. All right, fam. So we just finished watching season five, episode 26, titled The President is Coming, part two. So we finally got to see, see the president, uh, President Bush. I would assume it's Bush Sr. Um, that came and visited our girls. And then we got some more flashbacks, which I love. So it was a great way to be able to cap this wonderful season. And I love that we got to see Stan, even though for, it was for a little bit, that we at least we got to see him um, for a scene. Um, I just love the show. I love the show. I can't wait for season six to start. So I'm going to be watching them the first episode in two days. So I'm super excited about that one. Um, and yeah, there's nothing I can really say except that I love this show. I love this episode. I, I love this season. I can't wait to be done um, editing all of the season five episodes. That way I can figure out which one will be in my top five. So I'm super excited. I hope you guys are too. And I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys on the next season. Mwah. Bye for now.